right, good morning. We are getting ready to hook up. It is day three. Let's look at Steve's mad, mad skills at uh, hooking up, shall we? Let's see how well he does. Looks like he might be a little high. Hooking up the truck to the electrical. So we have brakes and stuff. Make sure that's locked. All right. And we're off. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. Welcome to day three. So I what's know. going on? Well, we're pulling out of Streeter Park and Campground that cost us zero dollars. This was a great find on... Uh, I found it on free campsites. Free campsites. Or camp... Campen... Campendem... Camp. Campendium. Yes, thank you. So we had power, we had water. The only thing we didn't have was sewer, which was okay. They had restrooms here. Uh, we were able to take showers in our campers, uh, which was really nice. And that's the only water that's in the tank, so we're going to let that slosh around today. Don't know where we're staying at yet. I have to look at my uh, handy atlas. Always, 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 always travel with an atlas because your GPS doesn't always do the right thing. So, and I like to look at the map. The drives are always pretty boring, so we're not. I'm not going to show the drive. I'll just show you when we get to our camp spot, like I have been in part one and part two. Well, we're in Iowa at the Love's Truck Stop. It was 473 for diesel. Uh, the truck that was in front of me put 150 gallons in, and it was like 722 dollars. Is what it looked like, but I don't. I don't know how that computed. Uh, <coughs> we put $86 of fuel in. This loves is crowded. So we'll get back on the road soon as Angie gets the receipt. So, but again, we're probably 100 miles west of Des Moines uh, in the Hawkeye State. So, <coughs> you ever wonder why they call it the Hawkeye State? Let me know. I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a clue. Uh, last of the Mohicans. See you then. Bye. So we made it to our next spot of camping. Now, let me tell you, we're at some game management area. It's down at some dirt road. We took the wrong turn. Had to turn back around. It's kind of cool out here. I'm not, it's, there's a huge, it's, uh, it's a swamp. Yes. Uh, lily pad covered swamp and it's just huge. And it, this is just a turnaround spot, but this is where we're going to be for the night. So. Yeah. so I'll turn you around and show you what our campground looks like tonight. Yes, folks, this is our campground spot, the end of the road. Nothing, sorry, Pepper, nothing but a turnaround spot. If you come over here, I mean, what can you say? It's free. Beggars can't be choosers, right? So this video will be really, really short. We could blow up the kayak and 
No, that would be so nasty to clean. But yeah, this is what's outside our door. Then you come over here. And this. Well, hello, Jake. Our dog that's going deaf. He has bad hips, too. But isn't he a beauty? Isn't he a beauty? You can see uh, lily pads from way down there. I'll zoom. Lily pads. Pepper, don't go too far. That's yuckies. We're just going to stay hooked up. And uh, Steve's putting the slides out. Pepper! Pepper! Get over here! Get over here! Come here! Come here! No, 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 sister! Come on! Jake! That rotten dog. Good thing we put some front line on them. I heard all of a sudden I heard this noise of water and I was like, what the freak? Ah, oh, sister, sister. And that's what we get for <laughs> parking. A beautiful spot. So, I don't know what we're going to fix for dinner tonight, but we'll see. Come on, Pepper, over here. Like I like I need her to go into the swamp. All right. So We have no cell service out here. None. Whatsoever. Guess we'll be bringing up the generator. We're going to test out our outdoor shower that we've never used. Come here, Pepper. Have we ever used that outdoor shower? Go see Daddy. Said, let's take a walk up the road. What you think there, Pepper? What you think there? Is it spooky, Inch? Are you scared? We're the only ones out here, and I keep hearing about all these people that go in the middle of nowhere and people come in and harass them. I'm like, let them try. 